In this video we are going to do a deep dive of the demon in Phasmophobia. I am going to show you all the abilities of this ghost and I am also going to show you practical examples on how you can figure out this ghost on Nightmare. This is just one of many videos I am going to upload about the ghosts. If you want to check out all of them I am going to link the playlist in the top right corner. The current description for the demon says the following. Demons are the most aggressive ghosts we encountered. Known to attack without reason they seem to enjoy the thrill of the hunt. Strength, demons will initiate hunts more often than other ghosts. Weakness, demons fear the crucifix and will be less aggressive near one. And the evidence you need is fingerprints, ghost riding and freezing temps. This ghost hunts at normal speeds and can also accelerate and this looks and sounds like this here. The demon has a higher chance to hunt than other ghosts. We know this from a changelog entry back in the day where they slightly increase the chance to hunt. Even though we know that this is the case we don't really know the exact value for this. The demon is an early hunter and will hunt naturally at 70% average team sanity. It even has an ability where it can hunt at any sanity by chance. Even though they transferred this ability from the banshee to the demon it doesn't have the ability to walk to you and hunt. So if it uses this ability it will just initiate a hunt and hunt where it's at. You can figure out this ghost just based on the sanity threshold and the hunting ability. Technically there's only 3 other ghosts that can hunt above 70% average team sanity. And that is the Fey at 75%, the Yokai at 80% and the Onryo at 100%. So technically if you go above 80% there's only one other ghost that can hunt at 100%. So technically you could push up your sanity to above 80% then you go in with a candle and stay far away from the ghost room. You need to stay far away from the ghost room because the Onryo can only use its ability if it blows out 3 candles. And it can obviously only do that if it's close to you. You need to have a lit candle in your hand so you don't drop any sanity. So if you get a hunt you are dealing with a demon. The demon also has a decreased cooldown between the hunts. Normally a ghost can hunt 25 seconds after the last hunt ended. The demon though can hunt again after 20 seconds. So the way you could precisely test that is with either a light switch or the front door and the timer. The light switch as of now cannot be moved if there is a hunt going on. So you could just flick it and see when it starts hunting. Since you only have a 5 second window to confirm a demon it is very hard to hit that. A better way to test it is using its smudge stick cooldown. Normal ghosts cannot hunt anymore 90 seconds after they are smudged. The demon has this cooldown reduced to 60 seconds. Remember that this cooldown also applies if you smudge the ghost during a hunt. And it is the same during a hunt if the smudge sticks hits the ghost during a hunt within 6 meters it will apply the cooldown. So if you can get a rehunt of the ghost between 60 and 90 seconds then you know it's a demon. I wanted to show you some tests that I made with this cooldown just to illustrate that it can fail. As you can see even though I tested it 3 times it did not hit that 30 seconds window once. So you can get incredibly unlucky with this test just keep that in mind. Since demons fear crucifixes the crucifix range is also increased from 3 meters to 5 meters. Don't be fooled though by the crucifix range the crucifix range you see is still 3 meters. Because if they would show a 5 meter range it would instantly reveal a demon. You could still use this fact to figure out the demon though. If you are in the ghost room you try to place down your crucifix so you still have 2 meters left of the room that is not covered by the crucifix. If you get a hunt now and the ghost starts to hunt in the ghost room then you can rule out the demon. So this test would only give you an indication of a demon. The most reliable of all of these tests is definitely the sanity test. It might take a long time to get it to hunt at high sanity but it's the most reliable one. 
I also want to throw in that crucifixes being used very quickly after each other is not necessarily an indicator of a demon. Crucifixes have a cooldown of 5 seconds for all of the ghosts. So technically every ghost can use them twice within 5 seconds. Here is a summary of the demon. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful to you. Thank you guys for watching and we see us in the next one. Oh, all these patrons. Thank you so much guys for your support. Mwah. Big schmutz. Mm -hmm.